But to many of us no longer answer our phone when we see an unknown caller calling. But what if your caller ID shows your cable provider is on the line? Working for you, John Mattery shows you why you need to be very mm. careful answering that call so you don't waste your money. If your cable bill has been sneaking up toward that $200 a month mark, you'd probably welcome any offer to lower it. But if the cable company calls you with a great new deal, one woman explains why you need to be very careful. Jackie Wilkinson's phone rang the other day. The cable company was showing on her caller ID, so Jackie picked up. Our uh, provider for internet, phone, and cable services. In her case, it was Spectrum Cable. Other customers report calls from Comcast, Cox, Charter, Optimum, and others. The caller offered to help lower her bill. Naturally, in this day and age, who doesn't want to save money? Um, so I said yes, and he said, great. Tell me how much you're paying. But that raised a red flag. And these are questions that I would think Spectrum would already know. They can see your billing price right there. When the man then told her she could save money by signing up for satellite TV, Jackie realized it was spoofing. Where a fake number shows up on your caller ID. Scammers have been spoofing the phone numbers of the FBI and the IRS for several years now. It was only natural they'd start pretending to be your cable company. But the company recently sent out a warning to customers saying if an offer doesn't sound right, they may ask the representative on the phone to validate they are an employee by looking up their account number. Jackie just wants to warn others. If you see your cable company there, right. you think it's important. Correct. The phone number appears on your phone and everything seemed legitimate. Just like with your electric or phone bill, your cable provider is not going to take the time to call you with an offer to lower it. So be wary and don't waste your money. Working for you, I'm John Matteries. Good morning, Indiana.